Perhaps love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort. It is there to keep you warm. And in those times of trouble, when you are most alone, the memory of love will bring you home. Perhaps love is like a window, perhaps an open door. It invites you to come closer. It wants to show you more. And even if you lose yourself and don't know what to do, the memory of love will see you through. Love to some is like a cloud, to some as strong as steel, for some a way of living, for some a way to feel. And some say love is holding on. Some say, let it go. Some say love is everything, and some say they don't know. Perhaps love is like the ocean. It's full of conflict, sometimes full of pain. Like a fire when it's cold outside, thunder when it rains. If I should live forever and all my dreams come true, my memories of love will be of you. You've always given me the best advice, and whether I've listened or not, you've always been right. You taught me compassion and strength. You taught me to conquer my fears. You never stopped loving me, even when I was a pain in your rear. <laughs> now I know to never settle for less, so thank you for loving me at my worst and my best. Today I'm a bride, tomorrow a wife, but forever and always, you're my best friend for life. taught me how to be loved, even though I'm not very cool. <laughs> you taught me to shoot for the stars. You taught me I could be anything. You taught me if you meet an Austrian, <laughs> make him give you a ring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were the first man I ever loved. Wait, no, that might have been Goggy. But you showed me the kind of love I deserve, and now I've found it and the land of maple and hockey. <laughs> so, of all the walks we've taken together, this one will be my favorite. I'll carry your love with me forever, today and always. I'll savor it, <laughs> love Kinsey. Thank you. <laughs>
Today is an absolutely wonderful day because all of you have come together here to this wedding in, in the Austrian Alps because you're very dear to bride and groom. You are family and friends. You wrote me that you met in your first year of university at UBC. The first time you saw Patrick was sitting in class on the first day of school, but the first time you really spoke was a couple of weeks later when you got put together in the same discussion group after class. And I quote, I already thought he was cute. <laughs> but, yeah, but as soon as he started talking and I heard his accent, I was smitten. <laughs> so what did Kinsey think when she saw Patrick for the very first time? She was walking home after one of her first classes together with Patrick and she saw Patrick longboarding down the hill towards dorms. And then she wrote, I looked at him and I thought to myself, that could be my future husband. At the time, she wrote, I figured it was just a random thought because I just started college and was constantly thinking of all the possibilities lying ahead of me. But looking back, I think it was the universe trying to tell me that this weird kid on the longboard was going to become the love of my life. Wow. <laughs> So, what does Kinsey love most about Patrick? I love Patrick, she wrote, because in the 11 years I have known him, I have not once been in his presence without smiling. No one can make me laugh like he does. Patrick works 12-hour days and commutes 45 minutes home through traffic every day. I think anyone else would have been tired and miserable when coming home. But Patrick walks into the house and smiles. And I swear, this smile is even more infectious than COVID. <laughs> no matter if I'm tired or stressed, anxious, sad or mad, Patrick comes into the room and makes everything better. I love him because I can be really, really horrible sometimes <laughs> and he has never once held it against me or loved me any less because of it. Patrick is the funniest, most genuine and loving person I have ever met and even the most horrible days are good ones as long as I'm with him. He wrote that they met in one of the first classes and then he wrote, I tried to sit closer and closer every day so that I could talk to her. <laughs> so he was like rubbing along. And then what did he think when he saw Kinsey the very first time? I remember he wrote seeing Kinsey in class in the first week and then later at the dorm at dinner where I told some of my new friends I don't know her name yet, but I know I'm going to have to meet her. I'm pretty sure she is in one of my classes. So believe me, I believe it, love is destiny. So what does he love most about Kinsey? The thing I love the most about Kinsey is that she is so ambitious and will follow through with anything she puts in her mind, she sets her mind to. She's determined to make this world a better one and a happier place for everyone and everything. And she will not stop at nothing to make it reality. She's kind, smart, funny, and caring, and always ready for adventure, be it traveling the world or hiking deep into the Canadian wilderness, 
She introduced me to camping in a tent <laughs> and continues to try new activities <laughs> with me from paddleboarding to climbing to bumping into a full-grown wild grizzly bear. Not recommended, he wrote. Kinsey has stood by me through thick and thin. I love my best friend who I met over 10 years ago. And I can't wait to start this journey as a married couple and continue to spend time, have fun and share dreams with someone who already made my dream come true. Patrick, you're my best friend and the love of my life and I've known it since the day I met you. We both know that I'm the most indecisive person in the world. I couldn't choose a venue or a dress or even an envelope color for our invitations. I doubt and second guess every decision I've ever made, every decision except for you. You're the only thing I've ever been certain of. I love you because you have the stupidest jokes in the entire universe, <laughs> but you never stop making me laugh. I love you because you will do anything in the world to make me happy whether it's letting me steal your favorite pillow at night or living with a cat you're deathly allergic to. You give me everything and you don't ask for anything in return. I love you because you've seen parts of me that I thought were unlovable. But when I'm at my worst, the love and respect you show me never wavers. I love you because when I wake up next to you, I wake up happy. When I go to sleep next to you, I go to sleep loved. And when I spend my days with you, I spend them smiling. So I promise you my honesty and my loyalty. I promise to always respect you and support you, and I promise to never hold a grudge. I promise to love you and care for you in sickness and in health, through our bad days and our good, through our failures and successes. I promise you my love in all times and in all places, in all ways and forever. Kinsey, I'm so thrilled to be standing here next to you today. I'm so excited about the life we have started together and the one that we'll continue to build in this life, I vow to you to love you and to cherish you in all ways and forever. I vow that we will be a family forever, and that includes all extensions. <laughs> I vow that I will be a part of any adventure that you will inevitably drag me onto. <laughs> On that note, I promise to forever be your compass, and if I fail, I do vow to get lost with you anywhere and everywhere in this planet. I promise I will also do some chores around the house. <laughs> Even faced with danger, as has been described <laughs> with the grizzly bear, I promise to stay calm for both of us, <laughs> for both our lives' sakes. <laughs> I love everything about you, and I promise to keep standing by your side through all of our life's journeys ahead and I can't wait to start this family with you today joined by all of our extended families and all of our bestest friends <laughs> from near and far I love you Patrick will you take Kinsey to be your wife do you commit yourself to her happiness and self-fulfillment as a person do you promise to love honor and trust her in sickness and in health in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her as long as you both shall live, then answer with, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Kinsey, will you take Patrick to be your husband? Do you commit yourself to his happiness and self-fulfillment as a person? Do you promise to love, honor, and trust him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him as long as you both shall live? Then answer with, yes, I do. Yes, I do.
Kinsey, you can do anything you set your mind to. You've been saying since you were about four that you wanted to be in The Sound of Music, and look at where we are. I've been waiting 31 years for this. <laughs> I'm a little bit of loss for words to express how happy Gabby and I are for having Kinsey now as part of our family. Patrick, I must say, your mom and I are very proud of the man you've grown up to be. Their individual uniqueness is probably their greatest shared attribute. You may not understand the whys of the world, and the world may not understand the whys about you. Just know that by having your own special language, you will always have each other forever and for always. We love you. Kinsey and Patrick, we love you. Life is about ups and downs. But in the end, as long as you keep on blowing sails, wind into each other's sail, you're both going to be fine. All the best. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. It's an honor to call you my, my sister. Patrick, you've been a part of the family for some time now, and I can't tell you how grateful I am that Kinsey found such a loving, positive, supportive, and kind partner. You two are a perfect match, and I'm so glad to finally call you my brother. I love you both, to Kinsey and Patrick.